Okay, so you're watching this because you are clearly interested in biomedical sciences, what it is, an introduction to it. You're probably in it, uh, or you're probably trying to decide whether you want to go into it. I mean, like, go down the path of studying biomedical sciences. Now, biomedical sciences can take you to a lot of places. Um, obviously, within the scientific field, you can go down the teaching route. There's a lot of um, different paths that studying this degree uh, allows you to take. My cat just jumped on my bed. Bloody hell, I just tidied it up. There is a book that I would honestly recommend, and it is this book, Biomedical Science Practice. Um, Experiment and Professional Skills by Hedley Glencross, Nissa Ahmed and Q Wang. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. Your university probably will recommend you to buy it. Um, yes, so do I because this little book is, um, God forgive me, but like a little bible to biomedical science. Um, if you have any questions, go directly to the book and it will help you. It will guide you and it will inform you on whatever your question is. I bought this, I believe, for six pounds. They are quite pricey. Um, I think they were like 30 something pounds or 40 something pounds. That's with the student discount that your university sh bookshop gives you, if that makes sense. So go Amazon much more cheaper there. As soon as you open the page for the introduction of uh, biomedical science and biomedical scientists, the introduction, the first sentence says, biomedical science is often described as the application of the basic sciences, but especially the biological sciences to the study of medicine, in particular the causes, consequences, diagnosis, and the treatment of human disease. A biomedical scientist is a registered a vital scientist professional who works within the clinical pathology field um, and deals with the samples that are given to them. So obviously clinical pathology has its own different um, departments, so immunology, hematology, uh, clinical chemistry, molecular, you have histopathology and etc etc thus dependent on the department they're working in they will be dealing with the samples that are sent off to them by this i mean so if a biopsy is taken from a patient it will not go to the hematology department because hematology department will be dealing with only the blood biomedical scientists they are not um they don't have patient to patient patient to patient to scientist contact uh, they are obviously based in a lab uh, that is to say unless they are within the clinic so if they're in the clinic then um, obviously you get to see the patients you get to see the doctors and so on so whenever you're ill or anything the first thing they do is they will take a blood sample from you this is the simple one forget about urine feces biopsies okay they will take a blood sample from you now dependent on the tube they take uh, so every tube has its own is for a distinctive department the tests that are requested are also sent off to distinctive departments they take your blood they send it off to the lab if you're in the a and e they will send it off to the urgent bench so it will go to the urgents which will which they will deal with like this okay the urgent turnaround time is roughly half an hour to one hour uh, unless like obviously the doctor calls and says this is super urgent so this is the patient's name they rummage through the samples they find it and then they deal with it they pretty much learn majority of the stuff that doctors learn but obviously not to that depth you kind of learn an overview but then you take the route of um diagnostics 70 percent of the illnesses that you come across they will not be detected if it wasn't for the biomedical scientists so obviously they deal with the samples they because they're registered um, they then authorize the results and then they uh, well, there were two words authorization and they validate and authorize the results obviously when you're a patient you know your nurse you know your doctor you know the person who you're dealing with but when it comes to the biomedical scientists you do not know them biomedical scientist does not even know you so their biomedical scientists recognition within the society is quite limited because it's like they do all the dirty work uh, behind the scenes and then they pass it on 
and um, obviously no disrespect to doctors or any other profession but then the doctors kind of put it up to the patients so like, they give out the results to the patient does that make sense another vital point about biomedical science biomedical science is that it is a very lengthy process it is quite hard uh, obviously nothing in life comes easy things that are worth having do not come easy you need to put a lot of effort into it you need to be independent you need to be chasing your own shit yourself obviously it's like that with any other um profession hobby dream whatever this is what i know um chasing up a biomedical scientists scientist career is really tough think about it in your degree if you are studying it how many people are studying biomedical sciences it's like good 300 between 300 and 400 people now some of them obviously will fail some of them will change their mind halfway through the course at the end of the course uh, at the end of the first year sorry so that kind of gets lessened and lessened and lessened and eventually on your final year you probably have oh, between 100 and 200 people pa uh, patients students some of them will take a different route some of them will change a complete career they might go into business they might go into um economics accountant because in there there's a lot more money if that makes sense some of them might take it further if your passion is to become a biomedical scientist then put your head into it and you will be able to do it you will have to put a lot of effort time into it it is rewarding like when you actually achieve what you've been hoping for but i can't stress it enough how tough it is to go through the whole lengthy process this should be it it's like a little overview introduction to what biomedical sciences science and biomedical scientist is uh, if you have any questions write down below if you want me to um answer any other um uh question that you have then obviously comment down below because uh, i did have a previous youtube channel which um got hacked into unfortunately um a lot of people were writing emails to me they were dming me on instagram they would write a private message on youtube as well so obviously you can do all of that my instagram and uh, snapchat are kind of i believe up there if i'm not mistaken so if it's going to be this way yeah they should be up there um on my profile that should be it. I have to get going now, but see you guys soon.